Welcome to the series finale of Nardog Express. This might be on the longer side of things. I know when I say that, sometimes it just ends up being like 15 minutes, but uh, I really can't gauge based on my recording time because I do sometimes multiple takes on things. But um, this one, I have a pretty big list of things that I wanted to tackle because I've been uh, learning a few things. I've been doing some research and this is the only episode of the series that I didn't do in the first you know, batch of episodes. I'm actually recording this uh, just after episode five was released. So by the time you watch this, it's probably been a week since I recorded this. Uh, I'm also taking into account uh, many of your comments uh, for the first time, I guess. And um, yeah, so just to give you some idea of what we're gonna do, uh, we need to uh, talk about the oil rigs because I've been doing some research about that and uh, I have a solution to that problem but we'll cover that in a minute. I need to actually tweak some of the signals. Uh, in fact, I've been doing some research on path signals, so we might rework some of them a little bit, uh, especially because I want to add a lot more trains to this um, to our layout here. Let me zoom out real quick and show you how everything uh, sort of looks. So, so far, it's, uh, you know, not that many trains are running. I mean, we, we do have a, a good number of trains, but I think, uh, I think we can saturate this a bit more. Uh, other things that we need to do is uh, tweak this because uh, I kind of left the simulation running on another save game and we're getting some traffic backups here and it's also related to the way signals work and the way uh, depots uh, are located so we're gonna come back to this in a minute. Uh, we also need to start moving valuables as soon as we get banks here and if we don't get natural spawning banks we can spawn them ourselves and that way we can just uh, you know check that off the list. Because uh, remember, the whole point of this series was to literally transfer every type of cargo uh, to basically every type of factory and or city. And uh, another thing that we need to do is fix this, because these vehicles have been sitting here for years, actually. Here, let me show you. It's been losing money year after year, and it's because, for some reason, I think I deleted <laughs> the farming vehicles that we're pouring into here. And also, the other problem that we have is that we don't have enough uh, slots for all the trucks that are coming in. So the, let's let's do this real quick. Uh, we're gonna move this uh, cargo terminals. We're gonna maybe put them here. I'm gonna hold control, that way we can extend this station. And now that we did, let's hide the trees real quick. Perfect. Uh, we can actually get rid of these now. In fact, uh, let's send these guys to their other destinations, even though they're empty. We don't care about that. Just want to clean this up a bit, and then we're going to bring back the uh, the trucks from the farm into here, because obviously they're not generating any goods because of that. So let's get rid of that if I can. Why can't I? There is no road. There is a road. I can see it right there. Come on. Oh, the local authority doesn't like it. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's add two more stations here. Now turn west. Why? Did it not link? I'm pretty sure I clicked on it. Oh, this is not town west. I see. I'm sure many of you are just yelling at the screen right now. Okay, this one doesn't allow me to extend it anymore because this is already a massive station. There's a limit, there's a 15 tile limit on each direction on how much you can expand a station as far as I know, so that's okay. This should be enough for, for a while. Uh, okay, again, I can't really do that. Oh, there is a, a truck here for grain. Interesting, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, we have two livestock trains. I guess what happened is that these guys couldn't drop off their load because there was obviously they were full. <laughs> so now everything is kind of moving. Let's make sure we send this guy back and let's finally get rid of this last station. There we go, great. So now Nattown can at least grow a little bit more. Let's demolish this one. And uh, by the way, I learned that you can hold control to like remove segments of things for tracks. And when you're using the, the automated, uh, the outer road or outer rail, if you hold control, it automatically toggles the removal option, which saves some time. Uh, I'm still sort of getting used to the uh, shortcuts 
but uh, hopefully it will go a little bit faster now. Uh, so I also talked about signals. So let's tweak some of our signals. I'm going to start switching some of them to path signals. I guess this works fine. We have the entry signal and exit signals here. Uh, so I learned that stations are their own block. They have like invisible signals inside them. So we don't need all of these, supposedly. Uh, in fact, let's try that real quick. We can remove that. In fact, we're going to put a one-way path on this side. And we do need uh, exit signals on this side. Uh, let's remove all of them. So let's add some path exit signals right there. Uh, block signals here are OK. Uh, we should probably convert this one to one way path and we should probably convert uh, this one to one way path. We technically don't need these two anymore. And uh, we also need to convert this one to one way path. So that should make things a little bit more uh, streamlined. We can have one train sitting here waiting for uh, for a clean uh, a clean track. Actually, we don't we could get rid of this one too. Um, trains are smart enough to not uh, to to know when there's enough room uh, after a switch for them to go in and out. Also, notice that one of these trains uh, is shorter than the others. We have what? It, uh, we have six tiles, right? No, five. One, two, three, four, five. So like this one, for example, this one is a little bit on the short side of things. Uh, let's send this guy to the depot, which probably should be this depot. Uh, while we're at it, let's consider upgrading this thing, this thing, and this thing, and maybe even removing that thing. Okay, so new vehicles. Let's uh, add another passenger one. There we go, five tiles. Can go your way. Uh, let's uh, tweak the signals here a little bit. I mean, everything is fine. Uh, like well, the signals are not ideal, but they work. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm planning on adding uh, a bit more stress on all these uh, segments. So let's let's take some time here to to make sure that we're future future proofing this to some degree. So let's convert this to that, this to that, this to that. I guess we can do that, that, and that. Uh, no, not that one, that one. This one, we actually don't need it. We don't need this. We don't need, uh, let's see, we don't need this one. This one we do need. So let's convert that to that. Can I hold control to remove? No, not for signals, apparently. OK, that's fine. Um, we also don't need this one. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now things should be, we don't need these two either. Fantastic, great. In another save that I was trying, I put depots here, and then suddenly all of these trains that didn't need to go this way were you going this way just because there was a depot there. Uh, and the same goes to this depot. Like maybe the train that goes towards this direction suddenly wants to go here, and then it has no way to turn around unless it goes all the way to that town here, which is bad. So I don't know if that made any sense, but uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect to a depot there and there and this is how it's going to work. And it's also kind of like a fast entrance too, which is great. So let's convert this to one way path. Let's add it. Uh, actually, we don't need that one there, but we do need a one way path here and uh, probably another one right there. So let's remove this one, this one and this one. In fact, we can remove that one too, because there's not enough room. All right, so this is looking really good. Uh, we could probably add just a, a block signal here. There's been enough tiles uh, that we can just uh, have this train sort of be sitting there. Okay, why are you going so slowly? You're taking out your time to, to speed up. Uh, and here, this this is kind of a tricky, kind of a tricky uh, intersection. Let's see if we can improve it just a little bit. Sorry, I'm doing maintenance just for the fun of doing maintenance and to in increase uh, the efficiency of this whole of this whole thing. So maybe we can just uh, keep this like this. And uh, oh man, I keep clicking on the thing. I need to like remember to use the shortcut. <laughs> 
Uh, so if we go like this, we can now put one-way path on this side. Uh, actually, yeah. So this one was okay. And this one, we don't need it. And this is just gonna be one giant block. So we really don't need any of these uh, signals anymore. There we go. I remember to, to use the shortcut. And we can potentially do something like this just to clean it up, make sure that everything looks nice. There we go. That should speed things up to some degree. Let's uh, convert all of these to one way path. Apparently we're missing one there. So let's add it up. Also, we're missing some connections. I uh, wonder how long that was just, uh, that was a problem there. Let's convert that and uh, turn it back around. Great. This looks okay. I think we need another like block signal this way. Great. It just added two. We don't necessarily need this one. So now we have this giant block, which it should be okay because there's path signals. So if the train wants to come this way and there's a train sort of waiting here, like it should be clear enough. Uh, the, the moment it switches to this uh, side of the fork, it should be clear to do what they, whatever they want. I guess, yeah, I mean, we don't really need path signals here because they're all going in one direction and there's no like other weird, uh, it, it doesn't, uh, there's no other merging trains, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, this one should have been just a regular block signal. Great. Um, well, no, actually it shouldn't be. Because then if there's a train just waiting here on this line, and there's another one that wants to turn around, it needs to look for a path, and path signals are the way to go. So path here. Uh, let's get rid of all of these signals. We don't need them anymore. Hopefully we'll see a train that, you know, doesn't get stuck there <laughs> at some point, just to confirm that what I'm doing is correct. Uh, we don't need... Oh my god, that's bad. <sighs> I got carried away. That was... <laughs> that was not good. I wish, I wish sometimes that you could do these things in, uh... Uh, actually, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that was that was not great. Uh, quickly, let's uh, let's clone these trains before before uh, they despawn. And by the way, I'm holding uh, Control now to share the orders. Let's see, are these two trains the same? Do they go to the same places? Front one west? No, they're not. Okay, that's okay. Um, just cloning them randomly. Uh, I'm holding Control to have shared orders. Uh, and I should have done this uh, with all the other trains. Uh, I recently learned how this works. So uh, yeah, I know we're like just finishing <laughs> this project right now, but um, I'm, I'm thinking of, of starting another project after this one that's like much more ambitious and has mods and things. Uh, so this exit, um, let's see, let's go back to signals and see if we can uh, improve this. So we have all these uh, path signals here. We should probably make these one way because uh, there's no trains coming in this way anyways. This one, I'm sure this has been losing money like crazy. Is there a reason why these trains, let's let's send this train to uh, to this place over here to see if, if that uh, if that works. Because uh, clearly this, yeah, th this is not producing much iron ore at all, unfortunately. The train broke trying to get into the into the um, the depot here. Come on, you can do it. Let's speed it up. Actually, we just uh, do that. So it's going over here, delivering the ore, and uh, this one we can just uh, send it its way once it's uh, it's not going to be fully loaded, unfortunately, but. We'll see, we'll see what happens. 73%, 76, and I think that's about it. Um, I did notice that uh, as we add, uh, in fact, we could add another one of these trains uh, on the iron ore. And uh, the more you keep adding trains to, 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 you know, sitting here waiting for it to pick up the load, it starts slowly improving 
the uh, production. Oh, wow, the production's going really down. This is just going to be terrible. Uh, I have an idea. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to send this train back to the depot. And we're going to split it. Well, first of all, we're going to clone it using control. So now these two should have shared orders. Let's take a look. Shared orders. Perfect. And we're going to remove some of these extra wagons. So we're only going to have like maybe three, three tiles. In fact, you know what? Maybe even less than that. 2.5. Great. And we're going to clone it three times. This is going to, what, what this is going to do is it's just going to make a more consistent flow that uh, would potentially, oh, you have no way to turn around, buddy. Okay, here, we'll, we'll fix it for you. Can we do that? No, we cannot. But we can do this. And go like that. Start all of them. There we go. So now if they want to go back to the station, they can just go around here. Um, so having a constant flow instead of this train going and then the production being somewhat uh, halted while the train is on its way is not very helpful. But because we have such a giant station here, we might as well just uh, fit a few more of these uh, smaller trains, see if that uh, somehow improves. I mean, it went up for like a second there. It went to like 12 tons, I saw it, but it's no longer doing it. In any case, let's see. Uh, let's double check the factory, make sure that everything is working fine. Yeah, everything should be in order here. Production is not amazing, but uh, I guess we can maybe... Here, let's... Let's do this. We're gonna send this guy to the depot and we're gonna send this guy to... No, we don't need to send this guy to the depot, actually. Uh, I wanna start using short orders for these two, so... Let's delete all of these. Uh, we're looking at a grain truck. So actually, they all share the same orders. So let's delete all of these and uh, have shared orders with that. And this one, delete all of the orders and have shared orders with uh, this one. All right, so these four things have uh, shared orders now. Here, let's take a look at the stations. Is this the station list? Yes, this is it. Okay, so we're gonna sort this by total waiting cargo. Uh, no, available cargo. Front wheel heights, 2,000 passengers. Okay, so what about this one? I just, yeah, I care about mostly the train ones. So this one, this one has 500 passengers, which means that we can maybe clone a couple more trains. To, to deal with this uh, demand. In fact, what about mail? Mail? We don't have that much mail. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, take a quick look at the trains. This train can actually be a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and make it longer. New vehicles, we're gonna just buy one. Let's add it to this train so that they're all at least five tiles in length. All right, you're gonna go your way. Uh, you know what? Before I add more more trains to this already uh, busy line, let's uh, talk about the next couple of things. So valuables. Do we have uh, any banks already in here? Not around here. Not around here. But we do have. Oh no, we don't even have. Uh, banks here. Interesting. Okay, so let's speed things up a bit. That way we can get some money. In the meantime, let me explain to you how we're going to fix the thing with the all rigs. So I I don't know why they didn't spawn. I did some testing uh, on, a, on a different map and I started basically the game at multiple years because at first I thought because we started in 2020, maybe at, uh, at some point in the future, oil rigs stop spawning. Uh, so Oil whales, which was the first thing that we had on this side, are uh, basically spawn at any date up until 1960. And then after 1960, they start despawning and oil rigs start spawning. I literally like clone the OpenTDD repo on my computer and like search through the code to see like the years where, where this is happening. And that's, that's the only reference to like times where the you know, these uh, factories will uh, spawn or not. Uh, there's no reference to like, oh, after 2000, like 
you know, uh, after 2020, for example, like all rigs stop being a thing. No, there's no nothing in the code that uh, tells me that. So I don't know, maybe because the map is so small. I mean, we obviously have plenty of water here, but uh, that doesn't seem to be solving the issue. So what we're going to do instead is if we go to the settings, we search for manual. Uh, if we go fund new industries, by default, you can only fund uh, industries that are not raw materials or primary industry construction methods. But we can change the setting because this is obviously some kind of bug or I don't know, some other limitation that I don't know about. We can switch it to as other industries. And now you can see we can pretty much plop anything we want. Uh, obviously, I could just add more iron ores here or, you know, or more coil mines. Uh, doesn't, you know, <laughs> uh, we can go very cheaty here, but now one of the options is oil rigs, which I definitely want to manually plop. But we also need $20 million and we only have 10.9, which it shouldn't take long to, to make this amount of money. So this is uh, this will be the solution. We're going to place an oil rig maybe here because this are all refineries on this side and you know, there's no water uh, connection. Ooh, I think we won the game. <laughs> Uh, Higgins Snar Dog Express. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's whatever. Uh, when, when you hit to 2050, that's like the end of the game, technically, but it's it's fine. I'm surprised that banks didn't spawn already. Uh, that's another thing that we can do, by the way. We can fund new banks manually. That way, we can start moving valley walls, and uh, yeah, and also they're much, much cheaper. So, let's do that next. Let's try to put them like somewhat near the station. That way we don't have to construct this industry. It can only be built in towns replacing houses. What about this house? What about this house? There we go. That worked. So now this accept valuables. Let's add another bank here, perhaps. No. There we go. Great. This one accepts valuables as well. And Finally, we're going to spend another $2 million funding banks. And uh, hopefully, there we go. Great. This accepts uh, valuables. Come on, please, please tell me that you will accept valuables. I mean, it, you are in the catchment area, so come on. It's still under construction, I think. That's probably why. Okay. It didn't work. Yikes. <laughs> Um, so let's do, let's do this. Let's remove these stations from over here and let's, let's add, you know what? Let's move these two bus stations actually over to here. So not town central should now accept valuables. Yes, it does. Great. And let's put another bus station there and then we can maybe remove these. In fact, we can now potentially remove roads from here. That that will make the city, it will allow the city to grow a little bit. We can also now remove those extra segments of road that we don't need it. And we can potentially just uh, straight up do this. Just clean things up, make, make sure that everything looks nice, you know? All right, so we have three stations that accept valuables. So what I think I'm gonna do is just create three trains, uh, one covering this route, and another one covering this route, and then another one covering this route. So we're gonna keep this three tiles long. Actually, you know what, 2.5. 2.5 is better. I guess we can send you your way. Here, let's... I wanna... Please stop following the train, thank you. It's just driving me nuts. Um... So we can do that and we can send all those trains their way. So hopefully now, I mean, they're probably just sitting here waiting uh, to load valuables. There we go. One is like 50%. I'm going to be occupying three lanes at all times, which might, I might clog the station now with these shorter trains. We might need to like remove a few of these, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So far, so far seems to be working okay. Let's take a look. There's always room, at least one lane, it's open for uh, for these uh, passenger trains, which 
obviously we have so many off just waiting there. 80%. You see now there's the strain is just sitting there waiting. Which is, yeah, this is the problem that I was thinking might not be great. So, yeah. You know what, let's remove one of each. So now there's uh, hopefully enough room for, for things to, to flow much more nicely. What's the pr production of these? Not too bad. I think once the banks start ramping up their production, it shouldn't shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too bad. So I think I think that's it. The only thing that we need to figure out now is oil rigs, and those are expensive. So uh, I'm gonna make a quick cut here and uh, resume once we have uh, the funds for this. So it's been about. 10 years, actually a little bit over in game years from uh, the last cut in this one. We have uh, plenty of cash in the bank. And in the meantime, I was just, uh, you know, taking the time to tweak a few things. So for example, I now split this uh, coal service into two shorter trains so that there's constantly one loading while the other one is on the way delivering the, uh, the materials. Uh, I did that with other services as well, like mail, and uh, I added extra passenger trains. I removed some extra uh, vehicles here so every single one of my vehicles is now making money whether it's road vehicles or uh, trains talking about multiple types of vehicles i haven't done any uh ships yet but because we have enough money for the oil rig why don't we do that next uh, we're gonna go fund new industry we're gonna put the oil rig maybe right here 28 million dollars and I was just thinking of adding a second one here but first let's deal with this one while this uh, is uh, being constructed why don't we add a few docks on this side uh, actually let's take a look at this so this one has 700 passengers I think we can uh, connect this to Fenwell West have docks that are now part of this actually you know what let's delete this delete this and uh, connected to there fine well west there we go so now it's connected to the road not that it, it's just visual it doesn't really matter <laughs> uh just for my ocd sake i just wanted that to look like that um and we're gonna put the depot maybe like uh right there so it's kind of hidden depots in the water just don't look very good in this game unfortunately uh let's go get another dock in this case the dock is just gonna be right here and it's going to be connected to wood because we're going to be delivering the oil into this uh well now extended station and then we're going to add some uh, goods trains from here to probably edinburgh and maybe even uh, friend will was because these are not getting uh these stations are not getting uh, oil, uh, sorry, goods right now. All right, uh, we're gonna need an another depot. This appears to have been uh, completed. So we're gonna go for the oil tanker and we're gonna go to here. We're gonna do a full load and then we're gonna go back there. And off you go. Let's see how long this journey takes because we might add a second ship for this, uh, for this route if all goes well. In fact, why don't we add a second one since we have so much money. And does he have shared orders? Yes, it does. Great. Um, and uh, that way, you know, it's better to have extra vehicles and then remove them than just uh, have poor ratings. By the way, I, I went through pretty much all the stations and we have decent ratings on almost all of them, aside from a few exceptions. Well, I guess uh, I think this one has poor Oh no, never mind. We're, we're pretty much uh, golden on all of the ratings. Look, it's all looking very good. Yeah, this is fantastic. All right. Um, in the meantime, while we have this uh, situation going here, why don't we add some passenger uh, ships? It's probably not going to spawn that many uh, people here, but uh, at least uh, we have all of the different, uh, you know, sources of uh, passengers or cargo in general connected, which is ultimately what we wanted to do. Next up is uh, dealing with the goods. Oh, wow, we have so many goods in here. Okay, we're gonna need some trains. So we're gonna go with the level two Cyclops and we're gonna have a giant train of five tiles and you're gonna go to here. You're gonna do a full load and now you gotta go to there. And we're gonna clone the train, but instead, 
you're gonna go to here. All right, off you go. So that's covered. The next thing that we need to do, just to like really saturate everything, is add another uh, oil rig on the other side. Let's let's do this. Uh, oh, we can't afford it. We need three more million. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna fund an oil rig here, and we're gonna put a station for oil, like a oil train. We're gonna connect it to this. We might actually have a station over on this side. Or, or, oh, actually, you know what? Why don't we do like a weird transfer thing where we have boats delivering oil here and then trucks shipping it to this uh, station. Then since we have so many empty platforms, we might as well take advantage of this infrastructure. So let's do that while we make more money. We're gonna have the docks be like right here. We're gonna have a road that connects this that way. And uh, we're just gonna do that. In fact, can I, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Come on, nope. Can I not do it the other way around? I guess not. One way roads in this game are really tricky. There we go, that's what I wanted. All right, so we can do that, do that, do that, and do that. And let's put two truck stops. And uh, sure, two more over here. And then we're gonna do this. And do that. And do that, great. I uh, might as well put another depot. Put another depot there, just because it's cheap. And uh, we need another ship depot there. And can we afford the oil rig? We can, all right. So, fun new industry. Let's put it right here in the middle. Boing. We're gonna get two ships, two oil tankers. That will go from here and do a full load. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's construction, under construction, there we go. And you're gonna go to here, and here you're gonna transfer. And we're gonna get two of those, go. And over here, we're gonna go get the uh, oil tankers. We're gonna do a full load here, and we're gonna go to here, and we're gonna transfer that as well. So it's gonna be a double transfer. <laughs> Just because it's whatever. I mean, I don't know if we'll make money off of this route, but I think we will, actually. So let's get six trucks. Go. And then we need a oil train that will get all of the cargo from this station. So full load and let's go to here and it's going to unload it there and see what happens. So it's gonna go around, it's gonna sit here and it's gonna wait for oil to be delivered while these ships are getting uh, their their cargo there. And uh, we might as well do the same with uh, passengers. So why don't we extend this like so. And uh, let's see if we can connect it to Nardwood, like the main station there, that way we don't add extra stations for no reason, and also it will help us extend the catchment area of this uh, of this whole dual station thing. Put the depot there, and we're gonna get just one boat for now. From here to there. Go. I think, I don't know actually if uh, dealing with their passenger services actually makes this uh, increase the production. Maybe, maybe it does. I don't know. Oh, I didn't connect these two. Oh, okay, that was bad. Um, that was really bad. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, uh, I'm sure someone was yelling at the screen. Let's slow things down. Uh, you're gonna go transfer, and uh, you're gonna go transfer. Actually, I need, I need all of you to go transfer. That way I can delete the stations. Can I actually connect it already to this one? Yes, I can. Okay, so this will be docks. Bro, come on. 
get out of here. So we no longer have that. We no longer have that, but I can go in and instead of doing that, you go full load here. Great, so now all these trucks should be able to get in and do their load. Let's cut the road just so that it looks nice. Speed things up a bit. And there you go. All right, so this train is now gonna start filling up, hopefully. No, because this is also not connected because I suck at connecting stations. So let's do that. This is woods, unless I'm mistaken. Yes, it is. All right, so we do that. And we need to tell all these guys, <laughs> in valid order, to go to here and uh, transfer. Now it's working. All right, so this one's loading. There you go. I hate it when I forget things like that. It's just like, ugh, so close. And I think, I mean, that, that does it, right? Let's just, uh, let's slow things down. Where's our oil? Okay, here it goes. Let's follow this guy. Oh, if I zoom in, it stops following it. Okay, so now it's just waiting for an empty slot. Probably this one, there you go. Once that train is gone, it should be able to just turn in. And this good train, which is not five tiles, should probably get the rest of the cargo. Let's see what happens there. It's unloading, and it's uh, the other one's loading as well. 89, sorry, 96, 99, and then 100. Uh, we're gonna send this one back to the depot. And I think there's another train that we should probably send to the depot. Yeah, these are not like five tiles. Uh, go to the depot, bro. So you are gonna get an extra goods thing. And uh, let's go back to here. This one's most definitely gonna go to here. So let's add an extra thing. Let's see if we can add it to it once it gets inside. There we go. Now, now you go. And that should pretty much do it. Uh, we basically covered everything. Oh, we got a new steel mill, but uh, we don't have enough iron ore mines, unfortunately, to serve this one. So, oh, oh wow, this one closed. Oh, it's already here. Oh, never mind. We're we're good. We're good. I thought I thought it like deleted it, but I just couldn't see it. That was uh, that was a close call. In any case, this is how the final city looks like. We have four super big metropolises. Uh, every single supply chain has been served in multiple ways. In many cases, um, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, with this layout, and I'm happy that we did all these like tweaks last minute all the trains seem to be running fine there's there's some that are being a little bit clogged here but uh, for the most part i think this is like pretty efficient layout i'm planning on starting a brand new series after this one uh, that will feature modded industries uh, in fact we're probably going to replace all of the vanilla industries with uh, custom ones that have a much more complex uh, supply chain and uh, I'm also thinking of adding a few visual mods to make the stations for example look a bit more interesting add new vehicles uh, you can let me know uh, let me know <laughs> down in the comments uh, if you're interested in seeing that because I honestly wasn't expecting this uh, viewership on this series so every single episode has been pretty uh, consistent and and yeah um, I just did it for fun and I clearly you guys are are, are enjoying this series as much as I do. So I think uh, we can kick this up a notch and um, and uh, yeah, we'll see where, where we get from there. If you enjoy this series, however, make sure to give this video a like. Uh, and don't forget the save game is actually included in the description. You can just uh, download this from the, from the uh, I think it's gonna be a Google Drive link. Just download it from there and uh, yeah, you get to uh, play this, uh, this city if you want to continue expanding it. I don't know what else you could do from here, but uh, there's still things that you can do to improve maybe the layout of the cities and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, like this video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you watched this whole series and haven't done it yet. I highly encourage you to do so, that way you get notifications next time I post, uh, well, the first episode of the brand new series. And finally, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, that way you also get notifications when I go live or when I talk about various things. I'm, I'm actually pretty active on Twitter and I have open DMs, so in case you wanna uh, get in touch with me, that's uh, certainly one way to do it. But that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. 
and really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.